Hello, you beautiful person that is watching. So today I would like to talk with you about the gifts, the awakenings, the wisdom that the landscape of winter has to offer to us. And currently I, I'm living in Cyprus where winter is quite, quite mild and there is, everything is turning green here in the winter. But for most of my life, I've lived in Poland where the winter uh, can be quite heavy with really low temperatures, sometimes as low that it hurts to be outside on, on the skin, on the naked skin. And with very short daytime and the smell of the snow. Uh, and this landscape of white, quiet stillness that can be so overwhelmingly beautiful when the sun is shining and then the snow is so sparkly and you just want to run uh, in the snow. Or sometimes when the day is cloudy, you just feel like inside the snow globe kind of covered in this soft uh, gray, white, kind of, I don't know how to call it, mist, bubble, uh, blanket. So I, I actually uh, still feel very connected to the landscape of winter that is white and cold and snowy and full of ice and really cold. And I want to talk about uh, this kind of landscape, the winter landscape in the parts of the world where we have four seasons. Um, and I don't know, I don't know where exactly in the world, world you are, but I guess that you've visited at least and experienced the, the white winter. And you know, we all have it in us anyways. And that's really the point that all the landscapes present on our planet are like mirrors. They are reflecting and showing us something that is present within ourselves, within our psyche, and in our body. That's, that's, that's the all reason why we are talking about it. So we'll talk about how we can experience our inner winter, how we can align with the energies of the winter and what it can unfold, what it can bring to us. And today, I, we, uh, I want to focus on two aspects of winter, which is silence and deep rest. And especially the deep rest is something that I've been seeing more and more clearly how essential it is and how much it is missing from our lives. So let, let's let's stay for a moment uh, with the silence aspect and just ask yourself how much silence there is in your in your life and you can think of your outer life so in this case silence means lack of uh, auditory input yeah <laughs> so there are moments where there is you're not listening to anything and just sitting quietly. How often do you do it? Do you like it? And I'm inviting you to allow yourself a moment of silence every day for the next few days, maybe in this period leading to the winter solstice that happens on 21, 22nd of December this year. So we have just a few days where the darkness is increasing, where we are immersing ourselves in the winter. How about a little bit of silence? And it can be a very good idea 
especially that in our culture we can get frantically busy now when the Christmas is coming, yes? While the nature wants to invite us actually to slow down, go within and experience silence. Do you know the silence when everything is covered with snow and the snow kind of softens uh, every sound? And there is this feeling as if everything was slowing down and quietening down. So imagine this silence, that the only sound that you can hear is the snow falling quietly. Invite this silence in. Let her restore you and let her make room inside you so you can hear something new. Because in all honesty, so often there are so many sounds in us, so many voices, so many words, so many thoughts, that we cannot hear anything new, that there is so much chatter. That's why allow the silence in. Because something new will emerge from it. And now I want us to move to the next aspect, which is the depressed. Oh my gosh, I, I totally love this about winter. The invitation to a deep rest. And how much deep, deep rest are you, I, we, allowing ourselves? Because uh, I can, for instance, push myself internally, especially very, very much to, to do more and to produce something or to do something useful or to tie it up or to like make myself useful, you know? And I know that big part, majority of any kind of laziness or procrastination that is happening in my life is a result of me pushing myself and not allowing myself a deep rest because we can really exhaust ourselves with wanting to do wanting things to happen wanting to be motivated wanting to be productive and we are so tired at the end of the day just by the internal pushing that we don't have power to do anything actually and that there is no inspiration and true motivation to do something that we would truly desire to do. So the winter is reminding us and the entire nature in the winter is reminding us that deep rest is necessary. Think of a tree that you especially love. There is one almond tree that I pass almost every day on a walk with my dog. And it's so beautiful in the spring, covered with pink uh, blossom. And there are so many beautiful trees, you know, cherry trees, um, oak trees, all sorts of trees. And think of them in the winter. They are not blossoming. They are not producing fruits. They are resting. They are deeply resting. And it's necessary for them. And think also of the beginning of the tree, of how the tree came into existence. It started as a tiny seed or a nut that was resting in the dark, fertile soil. This almond tree started as an almond. And in the winter, in the winter, it was breaking down in the soil and then growing roots. So in the spring, it could shoot up. 
and it couldn't it couldn't shoot in the winter because if it did it will die yeah but we are often pushing ourselves to, to, to do something, to create something, to manifest something right now. Yeah. But maybe we haven't grown roots yet. Maybe we haven't allowed the time for the nut to crack and open, for the seed to truly open and receive the moisture that it needs. The same about our dreams, our true desires, our goals. That they need the moisture. They need the time to open and grow roots first. Deeply in our soul, in our psyche, in our heart, in our body. And then when the time comes, when the spring comes, they can shoot up and you know as they say the deeper the roots the higher the shoots if the if the seed or the nut refused to grow deep if it refused to rest deeply it would just be very weak and unstable so actually, I'm inviting you to start seeing deep rest differently as something essential for your dreams to come to fruition. And deep rest can mean deciding to stop pushing yourself, to stop constantly nagging yourself that you should be more, that you should do more, that you should have more. And just resting in the present moment, allowing yourself to relax and rest and just bask in your own being. So that's the invitation for today, for the winter. And just allow the silence and the deep rest to nourish you, nourish you deeply. So then in the spring of your inner cycle, you can really truly blossom. And I will be doing more of um, these kind of videos in the days leading up to the winter solstice. Today we explored uh, silence and deep rest. And tomorrow I want to talk about the light, the sun in the winter and fire in the winter. Okay, lots of love to you. And I would truly love to hear from you. Uh, does this resonate? What does it bring up in you? Please share and feel free also to ask any questions. Sending you... A big warm hug. Bye-bye.